Welcome back to another typical PNW guy YouTube video. As you can see, I got two rifles on my footstool that, you, if you can tell, have the same pattern on the handguard. And that leads me into a brand I want to talk about this week. Uh, not so much an individual product, but the brand in a whole and the products they have to offer. So, these handguards, if you know the brand, they're very distinguishable. And that brand is Samson Manufacturing. Uh, I got introduced to them by a friend, an old friend, no longer a friend, but he had this handguard. Absolutely loved it. I loved how light it was, the aesthetics of it, and... The S is just cool, and that is a couple different reasons why they have it, but we will uh, talk about that later. So you have this handguard, this handguard, this uh, hand stop, this vertical grip, and then this um, rail section that's all Samson manufacturing. And I love all of their products. They have stuff for Mini 14, AR-15. Uh, they one of the M&P models. They have stuff for um, AR-15, like I said, and it's really just good quality American-made stuff. Um, the reason why I like these hand guards is they, even with this being a quad rail, it is ridiculously durable but stupid light at the same time because these S's cut into them uh, allows you to take out a ton of weight while still keeping things rigid and allowing the heat to escape all at the same time. And then it's an S for Samson Manufacturing, which is cool, but like this is, I can't remember if it's a 10 or 12 inch rail, but it weighs half of what other ones in the same size. Um, so, you know, ounces equal pounds, whatever. It's just a really cool rail. Now, uh, this is an Evolution handguard, which predates Key Mod. So you kind of had the Picatinny, this guy, which was the Evolution and then you had Keymod and MLock, which uh, Samson Manufacturing also carries. Uh, so you can kind of get a timeline on that. And then I believe this is their Star 15 rail. Uh, kind of the military-ish M41. Um, but if you look, it has a QD point there. And then I think there's one on the other side. So pretty cool. Yeah, you can see one there. So I think there's, uh, on the back, there's one on each side, and then there's the one up front. Super cool. Like I said, super rigid. And for what it is, it's very light. Same thing with this guy. The only problem with this is you have to buy special um, mounting stuff from Samson Manufacturing themselves. So I wanted to mount the light here instead of on the top. I had to buy a rail section and what you have to do is you have to pull everything off, put the uh, mounting part right here. There's another one that goes on the back side, and then you got to shove the two screws in this way. Kind of a pain in the butt, but it is a rock solid setup. So if you can see right here, they cut the spots out that are not needed as much as they can. And it's still a ridiculously strong hold. But it weighs nothing, even being steel. Uh, and then their vertical grip. There's three different lengths. And then I believe they just came out with two, one or two more different um, designs for the grip itself. And all you do is you unscrew this. It pops off. You can shove another one on. You screw it this way. Boom. Done. New grip installed. Pretty cool hand stop has two screws instead of one like some and then I will show you 
um, their sling point real quick. Okay, as you can see, I am on the other side, and this is their QD sling point, and everything kind of has to mount into the holes. So I have them on the furthest two holes, but if I wanted to, uh, this point would be right here, and this point would be right there. So it's still pretty modular, but within reason. And like I said, you kind of have to buy, well, not kind of, but you do have to buy the Samson manufacturing stuff to go with it. But like I mentioned earlier, it predates key mod. And for whatever reason, I love the Evolution handguards. And I want more of them. And I don't care if it's old technology because Samson manufacturing nailed it. In my opinion, it is one of the best handguards out there. So, you know, that is what it is for me. All right, so we're back to this view. Now, um, Brownells does not carry the, the handguards, but I know for a fact that they carry the uh, sling mount, they carry the grip, they carry, I think, three or four different items, including a uh, foldable stock for the Mini 14. They carry a Magwell and some other stuff for one of the M&P models. And then just some other miscellaneous accessories for the AR-15. Uh, most people, for whatever reason, has never heard of Samson Manufacturing, which blows my mind because they see and see all the stuff right here in America. It's not expensive. I mean, it's not Anderson or uh, Palmetto State or Anderson cheap. But, I mean, you're not really talking Geisley money or Sons of Liberty Gunworks money. And you're getting phenomenal stuff. And that is one of the reasons when I saw my friend, he had it on a machine gun. He was an FFL SOT7. And he beat that thing up. Matter of fact, that's what this AR-15 was kind of designed after. Uh, same suppressor that he had on his um, his stuck out just slightly uh, less so his uh, mount was back here so it was kind of tucked which you can tuck the suppressor which is a YHM I think it's a Phantom M2 it's been a long time uh, on a QD mount uh, 5.56 can and it, it tucks in here if you want it to but I think Tucking cans is dumb. Um, I mean, you really don't tuck anything else if you get my gist. Anyways, um, it's just a phenomenal brand. Uh, it's one of the few that I feel like I can get behind 100%. Uh, you know, they stay out of politics. They just focus on building amazing stuff that is pretty innovative. And I'm really glad that Brownells carries some of their stuff. I obviously wish they'd carry more because BOP 10 saves you 10% off of orders over $150. Um, so, you know, go check them out. Uh, if you like some of their stuff, make sure you use that coupon code and, you know, try them out. Give them a shot. Do a new build. You know, try out a Mini 14. Uh, you know, some of their stuff is cool. Like I said, it's lightweight. A lot of it is CNC'd. So, you know, it's as strong as what it can be. And I've never been less than ecstatic about all of their products. So I'm going to leave it off there. Just wanted to let you guys know what I thought about a brand that I guarantee most of you guys have never heard of. So let me know uh, if there's a brand or something else you'd like me to talk about. Uh, if you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe. I love new subscribers. Haven't had many uh, recently, but until next time, deuces, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.